G'day folks, uh, Peter Rayburn here. I'm an Associate Professor in Exercise and Sports Science um, and I suppose would be seen as the, the, uh, the motivator and the, the, the driver of the Communities of Practice movement. Um, we, we have a Community of Practice called um, Communities of Practice as a means of learning and teaching staff development and we currently have 12 Communities of Practice, each led by a champion and my community of practice, which is affectionately called Metacop, um, is that collection um, of academic and professional staff that, that come together to talk about communities of practice in specifically what are outcomes um, that, that they are having uh, within, their, within their own individual community of practice, but also to share their practice and solve problems um, across the board so we help each other out, what we're learning about as champions or as leaders of each community of practice. My name is Robin Donovan and I'm the facilitator for the Teamwork Community of Practice. As you know, teaching teamwork in large online classes can be challenging for some academics. So this group provides um, a comfortable and an informal environment where our academics can share their difficulties, share their problems and can come up with, um, with some solutions to their problems. Hello, my name is Leone Hinton and I champion the community of practice called Institutional Improvement. It's focused on uh, professional staff being interested in making a change and differences to our institution by improving processes and practices. Hi, my name's Colin Beer and I'm the champion of the Educational Technology Community of Practice. This community of practice around educational technology will be predominantly facilitated using online and educational technologies. It is hoped that by facilitating the community of practice in this way, we can raise staff awareness of how educational technologies can assist in the delivery of their day-to-day -day courses. Hello, my name is Di Merrick and I'm the champion of the Communities of Practice for Information Management and Record Keeping. I'm currently part of the Academic and Research Division and I have realised since working on the recent AUQA audit that it's an area that our university really needs to embrace and encourage more users to be part of the trim record keeping and actually understanding what um, our challenges are in reference to record keeping. Hi, I'm Kerry reed Searle and I'm the champion for the group Simulated Learning Environments. Essentially we've come together with the intention of trying to bring together what is actually happening with simulation across the university. We also see ourselves as a entry point into the special interest groups from Le Turc in terms of opportunities for research. But essentially where we start at is just trying to get together as a group to identify what's really happening with simulation across and share our ideas. Hello, my name is Norna Muldoon and I champion the work-related learning COP. Our COP is focused on um, helping staff and students in their work-related learning experiences, uh, particularly staff, to help them integrate work-related learning strategies in their teaching practice, which range from classroom-based experiences right through work-integrated learning uh, in the workplace. I'm Julie Fleming, and I'm the champion for the first-year experience community of practice. The impetus for this community is to further develop practices, processes and strategies that can enhance the student's first year experience at university with a view to retention and success. Hello, my name is Alison Owens. Um, I'm the Director of the International Education Research Centre at CQ University and also the champion of the community of practice for internationalisation of the learning experience. Um, I have uh, quite a number of colleagues across a few campuses um, working in this community. The purpose of our community is to um, support and inform culturally inclusive teaching and curriculum uh, around um, internationally relevant and engaged topics. Uh, we're interested in looking at international student learning experiences both uh, in the university and also community experiences uh, and we're also interested in looking at internationalising study for all students. My name is Jerome Grube, 
the community of practice that I'm interested in is a cross-cultural competence. And basically what we do within the community of practice is seeing how to assess the students' cross-cultural competence and how to be able to implement it within the course content and to equip the student in it so that they'll be able to move, to be able to have an employment in a different course, uh, cultural competence area. Hi, I'm Susan Kinnear. Our community of practice is in innovation and regional development uh, for central Queensland. Uh, both those are, are pretty topical issues uh, locally as well as federally. Uh, we're really only just embarking on our COP journey, so we were established quite recently in about June 2011. We've had a guest speaker, organised some, some gatherings, but most importantly we, we've started an online discussion group and currently our membership sits at around 30. The main reason for this is that our COP's quite unique, so we actually focus on engaging with external audiences just as much as we do with uh, the university's own internal staff. And that's really quite important because innovation and regional development are both such wide fields that we need to ensure that we get a, a mix of stakeholders to make sure we're getting in everyone's interests.